Hey YouTube, how is it going today? I got some new tobaccos in. I thought I would unpack them and have a little tobacco chit chat. Um, before I open this box, which is from Smoking Pipes, uh, or start taking them out, uh, this came separately. This is something I found from an individual, and uh, I did spend a few extra bucks on it, but uh, I, I just couldn't stand being, you know, in this post McClellan world, and I I never actually ordered any McClellan tobaccos, and I keep hearing about so many of them. So I grabbed some Frog Morton Cellar. This is um, one of the more popular uh, flavors of you know blends of, of, of McClellan, of course, um, and I really liked. I really. I, I saw the video where Mike McNeil talked about how he put the uh, you know the cube from the whiskey barrel into the container to get the you know whiskey flavor fusion and how you know hard it was to come to kind of get around to figuring out you know that that would be the best way to go it sounded very interesting to me and uh, you know frankly I was just uh, fascinated to to try it. Um, that that that's why that one in particular uh, really made me want to try it out. I grabbed a few more, and I guess what I'm going to do is just take them out and talk about you know what they are, why I ordered them, if I've had them before. Um, so the first thing is this is a three and a half ounce tin of vintage Syrian H H McBaron uh, line, and the reason I got this is that there's some bulk vintage Syrian sold at the smoke ring which is a little uh, place uh, down the street a little uh, tobacconist and I wanted to give it a shot you know I was really kind of just trying to try out a lot of really full flavored tobaccos to kind of see you know what I like best Virginia's Burley's you know a lot of Kia versus you know Peru Orientals what do I like um, I thought oh this would be a good experiment and I was ready to, for it to be just really weird I ended up smoking like I think three or four bowls of this the, the first night and that's only happened to me a few times um, the vent the uh, the uh, haunted pirate chip was was actually the only other time I could think of that I tried a new blend and I just you know couldn't stop smoking it so uh, I loved it I loved it apparently I really like Syrian Latakia so uh, and I know that it's not gonna be around forever you know probably so I want to go ahead and stock up on it. So I went ahead and got uh, a big, you know, a big tin. Um, here's one I have not had, Mad Fiddler Flake. So this is one that I've heard several different people talk about on YouTube. And it just sounds like really fascinating. And it sounds like a little bit of an adventure. Um, I'm excited to see kind of what it's like. I feel like, you know, I'm either going to love this or I'm going to hate it. But it is going to be interesting. That much I, I feel like I, I can I can probably say for sure so I'm just really excited and if I hate it that's okay you know I tried something really different and really interesting and we'll see um, this is in the whole Dunhill is disappearing so you know grab what you can while you can vein and uh, this is Dunhill Elizabethan mixture I have never had the Elizabeth Elizabeth yeah, the Elizabethan mixture before um, and I, I don't, I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm, I've got my head wrapped around vapors exactly. Um, as far as the flavor, you know, if I could really, oh, that's a vapor. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've had some pre mixtures, but this is, you know, this and uh, Firestorm, which I have not opened yet, are definitely um, along along those lines. So I want to kind of, you know, get to know these. Also. Bradley at stuff and things I mean anyone who watches him knows like this is like his go-to favorite mixture that he's probably I would imagine stockpiling uh, a closet full of it right now so um, you know what that's a great recommendation right there that somebody considers this their all-day smoke I will usually try anything that somebody out there you know who smokes a significant amount uh, you know try uh, blends and tries a significant n a number of blends considers an all-day smoke that's a pretty big deal to me, so I wanted to check that out. Um, here's another one that was recommended by a few people, GLP's Westminster. 
So Westminster uh, is, is, is another one I, I just keep hearing. Oh, this is delicious. You got to get it. Got to get it. Uh, and that's, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, you know, sucker for that kind of thing. So um, I got it. <laughs> we'll see. Um, here's one that I was I was a little bit afraid at first that it just didn't exist anymore, and then when it uh, it finally showed up again, because it dis well first of all a competitor came up with a similar product, okay, um, actually almost identical product that obviously didn't taste quite the same, um, from what I understand, and it didn't just become you know out of stock at or back ordered or whatever at um, pipes and cigars it became unavailable that kind of scared me I didn't know what that meant exactly what do you mean unavailable <laughs> that's not good um, I'm starting to realize that pipes and cigars .com will sometimes take things out of their rotation completely like they'll just take things out of their you know out, off the list you, do, you can't even and I think that that's that's them trying to cut down on these notification emails that, 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 that pile up and then they can't get any back in stock in the store because they've got so many people that you know they're holding it for that's certainly why they're probably not back ordering as much stuff I don't know I, I just I've noticed that they've taken a lot of things just completely out where smokingpipes.com actually still has a lot of things that we know are never coming back um, they still had it so I ordered it uh, finally came in came in everywhere okay whoo you know they still had it and when it came, it did not come the way I expected it. Not the way I've seen it. Um, I got Solani Age Burley Flake. So this is me kind of wanting to know, hey, what are you know what are Burleys all about? Um, again, I've had a lot of Burley blends, but I really wanted to try a super forward Burley blend that people recommend because there are so many garbage Burley blends out there. It's a really common filler blend to just put into a lot of like aromatics and a lot of cheaper tobaccos it's hard to really I think I've heard that a lot of people assume they hate Burleys but maybe haven't tried you know a good Burley blend and from all accounts I've I've been able to find this is pretty much I mean this is a lot of people are saying a lot of people say this is the best of the Burley blends there's I believe a new one from uh, I want to say it's H.H. Uh, McBaron and uh I've heard it's not quite as sweet, you know, it's okay, it's good, it's similar, but I, I wanted to try the original. So this is exciting, this is my, you know, let's see, let's see if I can get into Burley or not, and I'll smoke it slow here and there, and we'll see, because so far, Burley's not really my thing so much, but, you know, this will give me an opportunity to kind of figure it out. Um, this one is one I have no question of. This is 16 ounces of pirate cake. Uh, I ordered a tin of pirate cake a while back, and it was amazing. I mean, I I, I couldn't. I first smoke, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, this is definitely right up my alley, and this is a huge, eight, or 16 ounce uh, uh, block of it that you can, I suppose, cut up into, you know, two ounce bricks, just like the the tins come with. Um, if you want to I'm gonna put most of this into a large um, like a larger mason jar and the rest I'm going to put in small you know like cup into smaller bricks and put a little bit into a smaller jar I apologize for all the noise they're doing construction literally right outside my window um, I don't know I didn't do it man I didn't I don't know he can't see me. I, I'm just so um, yeah. It's pirate cake, good stuff. Um, this is a really spicy blend. I've had some people ask me, "Hey, you know, is that good? Is that bad? What do you think?" I, I, I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna love this blend. I am gonna tell you that I've heard of people hating it, and I've also seen people smoke this and just go, "Oh my god, this is amazing." Uh, I was one of those. I tried it and said, "Oh my god, this is amazing." Um, I think that it, you're either going to love it or hate it. I definitely recommend trying it, especially if you like the more rich flavor blends 
and you don't mind a little bit of spice, I will say it is not what I would consider a bad, you know, spicy, where you're trying to enjoy it and it's just kind of this like pepper on top of it that's distracting. This is a very well blended spicy flavor that's very, you know, much a part of the experience. Um, I think it's great. Uh, then I got some bulk blends. Why not? You know, I like to throw in some bulk blends because you can usually get a couple ounces of those for half the price of a two ounce ten of anything else. Um, so why not? You know, try out a few new things when you're you're ordering. Well, I didn't actually realize this was available as a bulk blend. I was pretty excited when I figured it out. Um, Cornell and Deals, Star of the East. I was thinking about getting some Star of the East flake, and then I realized there's a ready rub. You know blend uh, bulk blend available and I thought oh well there you go <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do um, I know flakes are kind of cool maybe I'll try that one eventually but I mean you can't beat the the, the price of something like this um, and I really want to try Star of the I have heard great things I've heard this is one of the possible Penzance killers um, or replacements uh, quiet nights being the other one um, I, I know uh, Simon, I think with London Calling, unless I'm completely confusing my tobaccos, I'm pretty sure that he did a comparison and he found Quiet Nights to be much more flavorful um, and, and, and interesting. And I know Derek Tant likes to talk about, you know, forget Penzance, get you some Quiet Nights. So, um, so I have Quiet Nights and sure enough, Quiet Nights is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. I don't think I really soaked it up immediately. It took a few smokes. But I started to realize, you know what? I can see how people could say this will replace Penzance. I really can. It's that good. It is really good. So that makes me want to try this because, hey, if, if one of those two tobaccos was that good, let's see how Star of the East Flake or Star of the East is because I've, I've heard similar things about this. So other people love this one. So I don't know. I'm going to try this one too. I'll probably, I'll tell you right now, keep both of them on hand. Here's one that's a mystery. I honestly don't remember why I put it in there. Uh, but um, I, I suppose I saw someone talking about it on the y YTPC and ordered it. But it's Kramer's Father Dempsey. Kramer's Father Dempsey. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it smells amazing. Like, the odor is just I mean it's not sweet at all it's like a I don't know it is a very manly smell <laughs> I mean I don't even know how else to describe this this is a very rich rich dark just not exactly spicy but certainly somewhat on the spicy side but just rich rich bold that's that's it that's it bold this is a very bold smelling tobacco that is the the, the bag note we'll see how it tastes got two more here um, I grabbed some Cornell and Deals 90 Irishman that smells amazing. It smells great. It smells uh, kind of cre uh, Irish creamy, but I can really smell tobacco too. It's not just you know hitting the face with sugar kind of thing either. So I'm hoping that's the nutty part that comes through. I'm assuming it's you know I I'm not really sure, but I'm assuming it's a burly uh, blend nutty Irishman, right? Who knows? Um, well, maybe you know, but anyway. I will do my impressions of all of these. Uh, and finally, Cornell Deals by You Morning. I want to say I ordered this because I think it was a vapor and I was looking for different kinds of vapors. But I may be call, you know, calling it that because it's by You Morning and, you know, Louisiana. And, um, but I, I think that's the idea. I believe it's, it's a vapor. But I could be wrong. I didn't look all these up and have it handy. I just... And honestly, I, I do a lot of these orders very much kind of by the gut. You know, I may not even know even fully exactly what I ordered, except that there was something that I heard about it that made me want to check it out. And I will certainly look up the details before I give it a smoke. And, uh, yeah. Always.
always have some. These are really nice pipe cleaners I send you. They're very, very thick. So that's that. Um, I did get a couple of other things that I already took out of here. There's a, got a couple of these smaller bits. I'm just trying them out and see, see what I think about them. I do like the idea of these saving nicer pipes that you don't really want to get all chewed up and screwed up. But, eh, I don't know. Got a wind cap. I've never really used one, but it sounds interesting. If you haven't seen these, this is the type that, I know there's a couple of different kinds, but this one you pinch these kind of comes together there, put it in any pipe, I guess, and it just fits perfectly. You're good to go. So that's interesting. Uh, and then uh, can't have too many check tools. I have one of these on my, that is really loud. I am sorry about that. Um, I have one of these on my keys, so I'll just keep some kind of around just everywhere. Well, it's getting way too loud here, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I apologize for all that. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube.